the Mediterranean, a sea, an ecosystem, a vast climatic expanse, a way of understanding life. An evolution of cultures and historic events. A diverse natural world. A world of beings that live their lives in magnificent landscapes, full of contrasts. The Mediterranean. Landscapes born of a sea that makes our dreams take flight. Vertical cliffs. Rocks batted by the wind worn by erosion. Reds of light, yellows of sun, blues of moon. Living fortresses on the horizon. The generous breeze that disengages our thoughts. Eyes that close and open elsewhere. In the dizzying abyss of the past. Moments of the past captured forever. Dreamed by restless minds that were born under the influence of an irresistible Mediterranean, which leaves its character etched in all its creatures. Mediterranean Terra. Dawn in the wetland and light floods the landscape and the living beings, bathing them in gold. Spring brings an explosion of life to which no being is indifferent. It reaches the animals without exception. Even the most discreet birds, those that hide the secrets of their life in the reed bed. Powerful songs. Ornate feathers. Everything is ostentation in order to control a territory and begin the reproductive process. The heat encourages life, and the young receive sustenance in their nest that will allow the most vigorous to grow. The chicks of the black turn, like all creatures in nature, are subject to merciless laws that are increasingly alien to human beings. So, the most unfortunate will soon become part of the food chain, which sustains life.
weakened by competition with its siblings. Exhausted and wet, the smallest chick in this nest will not see the next dawn. Worlds of water and salt. Components which make up the DNA of the landscape and whose degree of presence or absence determines life itself. Landscapes which determine the color of the birds that cross their skies. Wetlands, lagoons, salt flats and reservoirs make up a rich ecosystem with a varied botanical and wildlife species. In the salt marshes and fens of Ondo, Santa Pola, Torrevieja, or Pago, biodiversity takes refuge and thrives, magnificent in its display. Salt and water, sun and color, an inland sea of reflections and landscapes of water, where the wildlife is sheltered by tranquility. And its influence extends to the reservoirs and the swamps. Like that of Tibi, La Pedrera, or Rayu. In the mystery of the dawn, the contestants are already prepared, hidden in the mist. They have been screaming and calling all night. And the first lights illuminate the stage where the battle is about to commence. The nuptial parade of the red neck grebe is a spectacle. A secret language of offerings, challenges, and struggles. Their confrontations will mark invisible borders in the landscape. Widely spread out boundaries, which other individuals of the species cannot trespass. The confrontations continue and the saber rattling intensifies until the inevitable violence erupts, so that only the birds in excellent physical condition can reproduce.
prize for the victor is the territory, a place where the reproductive cycle can conclude. The necessity of the reproductive season is due to the lives of nature's creatures. To perpetuate their species, the survival of their genes for another generation. display their blue beaks, which shine on the water. They move with mounting nervousness and try to drive their potential competitors away from the territory they have chosen. An excitement which extends to all of the creatures of the wetland. try to drown their opponents and prevail. The salt marshes next to the touristic Santa Pola seem an anachronism, a remnant of the past. It is the same in the salt marshes of Calpe, where flamingos live their lives oblivious to the comings and goings of cars and walkers. Wherever nature has been respected, its benefits can be seen. Contemplation of their beings, their landscapes, comforts our spirit, which has been forced to suffer high doses of stress, haste, hustle and bustle. Nature pulsates at an imperceptible rate for the human being. Our lives in this world are like drops in the sea a mere heartbeat in the life of a superior and eternal entity to which we owe, at the very least, a deep respect.
The spring, full of color, seems to affect a bird that fascinates with its range of colors. The bee eater escaped from a painter's palette. Its coloration challenges any understanding of its predatory behavior. But nature is like that. There are creatures that exist for reasons that we will not be able to understand. Simply and solely because life is beautiful. The bee-eater is a specialist in capturing insects, which it catches in swift attacks. The insects will be the offering to their partner to gain their confidence and show that it will be a good breeder. In the shelter of the earth, they dig their nests, which are deep galleries where their young will grow far from the light. This is where they are born and will grow until they discover the wind. It is another surprise of nature, another wonder. A bird so colorful, so fond of playing with the wind, spends weeks in the dark at the end of a narrow tunnel that sinks into the earth. There have been millennia of transformations that have forced nature to adapt, to change. Logging, fires, plowing, and the very evolution of the climate influence the landscape, which discards everything that it cannot maintain. The most demanding trees cannot grow in these hard, shallow, acidic soils and give way to those that can withstand prolonged droughts for months, for seasons. The Aleppo pine is the protagonist here. Accompanied in the abandoned fields by wild olive trees and carob trees, Symbols of persistence and austerity. This is the kingdom of the Mediterranean scrubland, of bushes capable of drinking from the wind and the mist. They subsist by their own means with diverse strategies, shedding some of their leaves 
creating hard or reflective surfaces that prevent evaporation, protecting themselves with thorns. In this way, they conquer wastelands and steppes, worthless even for cattle. Even though the environment is hard and shapes the character of the landscape and its inhabitants, here life is abundant. Numerous species take advantage of those resources which are not obvious to the eye, which remain hidden. The fauna of the scrubland is diverse, adapted to the surrounding conditions, halfway between Africa and Europe. One of these inhabitants has managed to be invisible to the eyes of a human being, and only when it moves can we observe it on the landscape. A bird of both worlds, which can fly and feed both by day and night. Thanks to its eyes, inherited from reptiles, and evolved to resemble those of nocturnal birds of prey, the stone curlow emits its gloomy song in the twilight, an omen of dark designs to reign over the solitude when the night falls. Its nest is a simple depression in the ground, where it incubates two eggs that imitate the surrounding stones, except for their perfect shape. They are equipped to deal with formidable predators, such as the fox or the lattice snake. Their aggressiveness thus makes up for the disadvantage of having swapped the safety of trees for the vulnerability of the earth. As soon as they hatch, the young can walk and leave the nest. They will imitate gestures and movements that have been refined by nature. They will lead discreet lives, hidden from our eyes. In hollows of rocks and tree trunks, in nests abandoned by other birds, the Eurasian hoopo looks for a place to nest and to bring up its offspring. Its ostentatious crest shows its mood, fear of giving away the secret location where its young await anxiously. Tireless and hardworking, it returns to the search for spiders, caterpillars, and any insects that it will catch with the precision of a surgeon, thanks to its beak. It is a bird surrounded by myths and mysteries about its biology. The hoopoe is simply a survivor. A very well adapted bird, which has endured the changes in agriculture, the use of insecticides, the decline of centuries old trees, the impact of roads, and the abundance of domestic predators, such as cats. In days
centuries gone by, they were abundant and companions of farmers in the solitude of the fields. Nowadays, these creatures are fading away. Our world has changed the laws of nature. Yonder, where the water flows on its course, the trees transform. The foreboding forests cast off their bleak appearance and become otherworldly. They rise without limit towards the blue in their autumnal contrast, which mixes the primary colors of nature. Autumn marks that invisible boundary in the distance that makes up the great snake of the river, which advances sinuously, carving out the banks. The river sings out its yearning for the sea, for which it incessantly searches on its descent. The riverside trees demarcate their sinuous presence forming an elegant path that has been shaping for centuries. Essential water. It has been vital in the formation of the landscape, in reservoirs and swamps which cherish its presence. endless sheets of water in which the clouds can be seen, which catch the reflection of trees and mountains. Without water, there is no life. Without blue, there is no green. Winter strips the trees of the river. Spring shines its luminous green. They offer generous shade in summer and their exciting color in autumn. The river lives throughout the seasons and beats with its pulse. through the upstream waters in search of the backwater where it submerges to snatch a fleeting shimmer. A reflection waves about at its beak for a few moments. The kingfisher lives bound to the river and knows all its curves. It stalks in the most inaccessible pools for hours and dives underwater like a sky blue streak. It emerges victorious amidst a galaxy of water drops whilst holding a trophy which struggles, refusing to abandon by force the deep world that it has always known. of the fishermen. Emerge 
submerged in the solitude of the river, plunged into a non-existent silence, the incessant whisper of water. Half glow, half reflection, its feathers fade into the water amongst its crystalline secrets. The waters of the surface, the Girona, the Algar, perform the miracle of hosting a different type of vegetation and transforming the surrounding landscape. Their ripples support many lives, both near and distant. We have moved away from its luminous presence, from its sounds which satiate our minds. Sheltered by the secrecy provided by the thicket, the absence of bright colors and of diminutive proportion, birds such as the penduline tit are essential to the web of life. With the skill of a weaver, a bird weighing just a few tens of grams constructs a robust nest which far exceeds its own weight. The penduline tit and nest are essential to the scheme of relationships that sustain the complex entity which is our natural world. Curiously, life on our planet depends on the smallest beings. No one visits the river, which envies the sea, the forests, the mountains. Riverbeds, natural borders and vertical rocks, uncelestial, which fascinated the Knights Templar in Lorcha, Beniares, in Tibi. The ancient waters of the Segura and Vinalopo rivers, which irrigate fertile valleys, form havens of life. The reservoirs of La Pedrera and Amadorio, water and aridity, extreme contrast of color and texture. Austere mountains of dark home oaks and rustling pines. Green blankets that protect the earth and dress it with fertility. Forgotten forests that hide the innocent consciousness of the trees from the destructive impulses of human beings.
forests that survive fire. The axe. Greed and forests which give up, which leave long-lasting absences. Sad voids in the arid landscapes. In the valleys of Gallinera, Ebo, La Guarte, the echoes of ambushes and skirmishes between the Crescent and the Cross still resonate. Who could go back in time when in these forests the bear the lynx, the wolf dwelt. Absent outlaws, a faded presence which mirrors human beings' fears of the dense forest. Thick forests that hide forgotten giants. Elders without names, but with stories which anchor in a past that exceeds two millennia. Living beings which arrive before the Christian era and who are blind and mute witnesses, but not uncaring. are the guardians of a nature which is already difficult to find. Ranges of Carascar, Maimo, Fontanellas, a refuge for living beings hidden, invisible to prying eyes. The first rains after summer awakened the instincts of the lord of the forest. He hides in the thicket until the impulse to reproduce causes him to lose any apprehension and he ventures out into the clearings where the females concentrate to feed. The great males emit their powerful arousal call which floats like the fog amidst the trees of the forest. The ostentation of their antlers and their potency in hurried races and violent challenges will allow them to perpetuate their genetic duty. springs where the water murmurs its freshness. Flocks of birds of all colors come together. 
creatures born from children's imagination to adorn our forests. From the thicket, mischievous eyes of fire watch the comings and goings of the forest owls. Timid creatures that fear those silent and fast wings, those sharp claws. It is the fast world of the hunters, the owl, the shrike, the gosh hawk, discreet beings that lurk in their watchtowers. The forest whispers its secrets to those who listen in silence and hide in their mosaics of light and shadow. The fauna merges with the landscape in a mimetic symbiosis that camouflages its presence. The trunk of a tree comes alive and, from its interior, the chick of an Iberian woodpecker emerges one of the carpenters who managed to scope their nests in the wood. its first flight to life, to color, to the adventure of a world full of dangers that will stalk it, that will make his existence make more sense, have more value, birds and trees indivisible, fused in an existential symbiosis. Both make up one of the basic entities upon which thousands of hectares of pine forests that cover hillsides and plains, peaks and valleys, are supported. The light of a new day is born, and its heat floods through the ancestral landscape. In one of the most arid landscapes of Iberia, monstrous, stony bodies lie. They emerge from inconceivable forces that convulse the earth in the darkness of time. Giants and superb titans suddenly buried beneath ancient rocks with a craggy and dry surface. Mountains that show us the origin and the end, complete and perfect worlds. The mountains represent the essence of the earth rugged, elusive, and unpredictable. A spiral of breathtaking monuments, now as gentle as sleeping beasts, pepper and magnify a land marked by their presence. Aitana, Bernia, Mariola, 
said Aya. Seductive names of women which trick the traveler in their austere reality of pines and esparto grass. From its millinery and arrogant perspective, everything in this world is ridiculously small. Mountains in the dreams of poets and painters of light. Immortal like them. The light of Javier in the landscapes of Soroya. The dizzying heights of Finestra from the soul of Miro. Monovar, during the siestas of Atherin, colorful pictures, words in the landscape, verses, haughty mountains sailing in the light of dusk. The landscape and the feeling of nature in the voice of Miguel Hernandez, and in so many who were born under the sublime influence of these irresistible enclaves. Poets of the sublime, of the landscapes, of the sensations, of the heights. In those times when everything was bigger and more beautiful. The eagles plow through the sky, a sign of the gods of the past, solitary creatures dwelling in silence in the most inhospitable peaks. They float weightlessly from upon high and give reality to our dreams of freedom without limit. Its eyes and plumage reflect the sun in golden sparkles. They are the most austere birds, the most superb. Mountains and fields in the siesta sleep. Lost mountains, hidden fields. Ancient seclusion and ancient dreams. Desolate landscapes where one hears pure, pristine silence. The angels of death emerge, hungry from their unfathomable heights. They are the eyes of heaven, the lords of heights. Nothing escapes their scrutiny. Any glimpse of life in its last breaths attract its presence. Acute hunger forces them to lay their claws upon the earth, greedy and insatiable. Their screams and hisses always leave a vivid impression, as if they also wanted to devour the souls of the living and not just the inert bodies.
landscapes emerging from the white winter cloak. Spirits that pass through the mist with magical lights and mysterious reflections. Colors that do not exist elsewhere. The imagination is unleashed before the vertical abysses, before the solitude and desolation, before a void that overwhelms the senses. These are the horizons that leave an indelible mark. And so, this is the surface of this authentic landscape, of these mighty mountains. From the sea of infinite blue, from these austere forests, the wind, the snow, the water, the salt. The impassive constant sun have shaped its essence to form an ecosystem, a perfect world of unique and admirable beings. The delicate blade of grass the several thousand year old tree, the impulsive and arrogant eagle, the serene land itself beats with an ancestral pulse that remembers and acknowledges the sea. Mediterranean.